YouTube and welcome back to my Let's Play World of Warcraft on Wednesdays. Today uh, we are doing the Shadowfang Keep 5-man dungeon. And as you can see here, I just entered into the dungeon as we uh, as we speak. And I am going to go ahead and uh, start running this instance. So let's see here. Can't go that way. I think that's right. I have to go this way. Haunted stable hands here, and lots of monsters and things. Alrighty. So this instance, as you can tell, is within a keep rather than a dungeon, uh, even though they still call them dungeons, I suppose, or they call them instances, actually, is a tends to be more frequent term used. But this happens, oops, didn't mean to do that. Happens to be a keep in um, it's not Trisfall Glades. It's it's well, it's near Trisfall Glades. It's near Undercity. Quick little, uh, quick little flight over, since you can now fly everywhere in. Uh, well, I can fly everywhere except Pandaria right now, just because I'm not level 90 yet. So the new area is the only area that you can't fly in. Let's see, did he have anything interesting? Oh, yes. Alrighty. And uh, he's talking to me here. Oh yes, and he's now gonna go open the door for me. He's also a quest giver. I have a quest that I have to complete for him as well. Alrighty. So now we get out into the courtyard and deal with the rest of these. I'm trying to remember, um, but I think originally um, this instance, it was mostly um, ghosts and things in here and not these monsters, so I think this is definitely one of the changes. Yeah, there's some of the human ghosts, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if I remember the monsters or not. And might as well go get these uh, Always doing this part of every run, so I don't remember if there was a quest for it or what, but I can get some skins off of them. Alrighty, let's move along. Let's now get into this part of the keep over here. So there's two ways to do it. I can go up or down. I'm gonna go up first. <laughs> I'm doing these. I'm trying to make sure that I uh, complete the com the entire run and the entire area that you can run through. I know there's a few mini bosses in this area here. So as well, I'll go through and uh, take care of them. You know, when you're doing this at level, you know, you definitely want to always get the bosses because you get the uh, experience and you get the loot and everything else. Alright, so... It's been a very long time since I've done a run of this particular instance. Usually when I do, um, I'm usually doing it at level and I have one of my guild members coming in and... Okay, and so we're taking over the control of this area here. I don't know if I can talk to him or not. Nope, not really. Alrighty. If there's anything in here... Take it this way... Ah, yes, here we go. Uh, so I kind of missed the mini bosses in the kitchen. I just realized that. I'm gonna go back and go down because there was that one stairwell that I passed. So I'm gonna go. Oops. <laughs> go do that real quick before uh, before I forget. Or before I get too deep into the keep on the other side of it. Yep, there it is. This, I believe takes us down to the kitchens, and I think there was another 
mini boss in here. Yeah, there's Baron Silver and one of the mini bosses. Yep. And as we go through and kill the mini bosses, our forces kind of are taking over. Yep, so there's our guys here. Some of this is definitely different with the uh, with these guys and the and the kind of the diseased things. That's definitely part of the new storyline in this uh, part of the world of Warcraft. <laughs> so yeah, here we are in the kitchens. I don't remember if there was another boss in here or not, but might as well take a look. And this just gets us back out here. Okay, so I can just run back in here and go back up and get into the other part of the keep next. way, if I remember right. I have been known to get lost in some of these places before. <laughs> so if you start seeing me running in circles, I'm like, wait, how do I go? How do I get there again? <laughs> some of these, uh, some of these are pretty straightforward and they just kind of lead you down certain uh, pathways and corridors and things. And some of them are mazes and um, I think it's fairly easy to get lost sometimes. Alright, so we go this way. Go around. Gargoyles, which will yep. Pretty sure that they were gonna come to life. Yep. yep. Take care of those guys. And let's see. We can only go down, so down we shall go. a little bit like a maze. I forget which instance it was. There was one thinking, I'm trying to remember if it was Burning Crusade already or if it was one past that where you're going into another big kind of a castle kind of thing. Oh, I remember now. It's um, I think it was Wrath of the Lich King, and it had... Well, I'm just trying to... I'm just... Sorry, I'm just kind of rambling. I'm just trying to remember the instance, but you kind of got easily lost in this whole thing, and there's a um, big... Um, the big boss fight is with a big magician. Take this guy out. Yep, there we go. But it was a, it was a magician, and you got locked in the room, and so if, if all your party members weren't in the room when the fight started, then whoever was outside got stuck out there. And um, if you died, you had to run all the way back, and it was just such a twisting maze to get around in there. Um, I remember me running that with my guild um, a few times, and man, oh man, it was so... Uh, it was so frustrating to get lost so often. Alright, so let's do this here. Okay, so we need to get Lord Godfrey. seems different. So as I've said in some of these uh, previous instance runs um, that uh, some of these instances definitely feel like they've been changed. Some of them seem almost identical from what they were before but there's in some cases subtle change is identical but still there's so subtle changes. Um, that Ragefire Chasm was the, the one that to me has been changed the most. Like completely different bosses and completely different mobs that you have to go after and everything. Alright, so we got those guys. Alright, so how do I get. Oh, I'm so waiting for him, that's why.
He's like the magic door opener person. <laughs> okay, so he's like, all right, there we go. And we've got this Chromush guy. Someone poisoned him. Oh yes, so we gotta get Lord Godfrey. I can just kill him from here. <laughs> yep, I can. <laughs> Yay! Uh, I just need to get rid of these monstrosities while I'm at it. Might as well loot. Yep, I think he's the big boss of this instance now. And let's see. We've got a couple of guys here that we need to... Where's the turn ins on there? There's the turn ins right there. What is it? Oops. I must select something. Okay, what's what's the most valuable? Uh, this is 14 silver. Wow, I'm rich now. <laughs> oh, rich concludes this instance. Okay. Is there a. I'm back way out of here? Doesn't look like it. I think this is basically a dead end. Alright, well I'm going to have to run all the way back out or I can just hearth out. So I think I'm just going to hearth out. And my hearth point's uh, back in uh, Pandaria. So I am going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Thank you so much for joining me. And next week uh, will be Black Fathom Deeps. So please look forward to next week and Black Fathom Deeps. Thanks you for joining me. Bye-bye.